should be giving him your love too. Oh. Asian brat, I cannot believe what you just said. I'm just gonna run the video, but I just wanna say two things. Why are you lying on Vaughn saying if he was here, he would be with other girls, he would be, he's not here and he's not doing that. You don't know what he would be doing if he was here. So stop lying and saying that he'd be doing stuff that we don't know he would be doing. And number two, why are you saying Jack boy, he's not into nothing. He ain't got no beef. He's just, his name is Jack boy. He's not into nothing. Him and Kodak Black, they're not beefing. Do you even know who you're with? I'm just gonna run the video. People gotta stop acting. People gotta stop making people, bro. People just when it come to me, bro. People just gotta stop telling me what to do. Like, I could say I want to get married. I could say I want to have kids. I could say all these things because this is my fucking life. I don't have to explain shit. Girl, my baby hair's fucked up. You see, I actually take my hair down today. But yeah, anyway. Don't touch my drink for a legacy. Don't do it, please. No. But look up. <laughs> what I was gonna say, bro. When it comes down to me and my life, or uh, anything that I wanna do with my life, bro, I can do it. It's my life. Like, y'all act like Vaughn is allowed to marry me. Y'all act like Vaughn is allowed to give me kids. Y'all act like Vaughn is alive to be with me. Y'all act like Vaughn is alive for me to FaceTime him and call him. Y'all act like Vaughn is alive um, to where I can go through, still go through relationship shit with him. Y'all act like Vaughn is alive, bro. This man is not alive. He's not coming back. Like, do y'all think that I haven't dealt with, dealt with that shit? I feel like people really want to see me how I was on live. Eyes big as fuck from crying. Fucking miserable. Selling out shows every day, but I'm still getting in the car crying. I couldn't even fucking enjoy my birthday last year. I was crying on my birthday. Like, after my birthday, everybody wanted to go party, bro. I wanted to go in the crib. Like, y'all don't understand what the fuck I've dealt with. I've dealt with this shit already. Like, I've dealt with a lot of shit. I was, bro, I, bro I've never in my fucking life been with somebody and they passed away ever in my fucking life. Like, ever. You feel me? I've never dealt with that. I know it's girls out there who, who's lost multiple boyfriends. I know it's bitches out there who done been through this, this type of shit multiple times. I never went through that shit, so that shit really hit me different, and it really fucked me up to where that shit could have fucked my life up. Y'all didn't have to deal with motherfuckers playing with your character on the internet. Y'all didn't have to, mother bitches was trying to tarnish my motherfucking name and my career. Shit that I've built, but I never built my life or my career off a nigga. I built that shit off being me. I, I hustled and grinded myself. I had a different type of respect for myself. Motherfuckers tried to tarnish my fucking career. And I still stood on all ten toes and I overcame all that shit. You think I want to go back to that? You think I want to go motherfucking back to that shit? Like, this nigga tatted on my hand. This nigga been... Before y'all even knew who the fuck Vaughn was, Vaughn was tatted on my body. I been had this nigga name tatted on me before y'all even knew him. Like, so... My love ain't never been fake, but me moving on is definitely a very much real. And that's some shit that I'm doing. And I don't know if y'all want to just see a bitch down, but I'm not going to be down no more. I'm going to tweet what I want to tweet. I'm going to say what I want to say. If I want to marry this nigga and I want this nigga to marry me, that is what the fuck it is. If I want to talk to somebody else and whatever, that's what the fuck it is. It is what the fuck it is. Like, y'all cannot try to troll me about a nigga that y'all don't even fucking know. Y'all wasn't fucking this nigga. Y'all wasn't with this nigga. Y'all wasn't dealing with motherfucking feds. Y'all wasn't doing none of this shit with him like I was. So I can say what the fuck I want to say. If I was fucking dead, Vaughn would be with a hoe right now. He would be with a bitch, but guess what he would be? He would let that hoe know like what it is. I know him. He know me. And even dead and gone, bro, I feel like I have... um. I feel like he's still, you know, watching over me. And, you know, all that good shit. I ain't gonna get to speaking into that because y'all gonna call a bitch crazy. But it's just like, bro, I can say what I want to say. Especially when... Oh, no, you not finna get my parking spot. Oh, yeah, you better... T yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get your ass back, bitch. Oh, my bad, y'all. Let me back up in this shit.
Let me back up, because I'm about to have to... Y'all know how that road range shit is. I'm about to probably whoop me a bitch out here trying to get in my parking spot. Hold on. I'm about to, I'm about to say more. Let me park. But what I was gonna say, yeah, I can say what I wanna say, like somebody say road range, okay. But bro, I can say what I wanna say, like y'all can't stop me from saying what I wanna say, like I can say what I wanna say, especially about Vaughn. Like I can say what I wanna say. I don't think like nobody can tell me not to say nothing. Nobody can say, Oh, your name is attached but his name attached to me. Like, what are you talking about? Nobody can say nobody doing nothing but cloud. This is not cloud. This is my real life. If it was somebody else, bro, I swear to God, I would not be invested in, in this type of situation if it's happened to somebody. Like, I don't know what, when somebody lose somebody, bro, I don't know what the fuck they mean by cloud. What the fuck do I gain from losing somebody who died publicly on camera? Like, how is that even, how is that even, like, bro, what? How is that even just, like, okay to even just promote, like, if anything, I wanted to make motherfucking make everything look good and just be on some positive shit. Like, I could have crashed out. I didn't. I've been fucking too. I've been fucking, but somebody said, Jack, well, a lot of people, bitch, like, worry about your, your nigga you fucking with. Don't worry about what I got going on. Everything is that motherfucking. Glitz and glamour on the outside is not glitz and glamour on the inside. You see what I'm saying? Jack Boy is under he doesn't have no type of fucking weird ass baggage. He don't come with problems. He don't have no problems. He's not a problematic ass nigga. He don't start shit. He's not in shit. He don't care. He's a fucking homebody. He be chilling. He be in his own fucking world. He don't care. So yes, of him. Out of all these out of all these niggas, him. Out of all these niggas, him, and I fuck with him just for them reasons. I don't have to be in comp I'm not in competition with no nigga. All these rap niggas that y'all glorify, these niggas is bitches and these niggas is liking each other at the end of the day. So don't worry about what the fuck that I got going on with my nigga. You see what I'm saying? I bet y'all tell him, like, why her? She's she's still grieving over Vaughn. Why her? Why her? Why her? Why her? And I bet that's his reason, too. Like, shut don't worry about it. Don't worry about why, like, worry about that broke ass nigga, you fucking bitch. Don't worry about what I got going on over here. I can say what I want. People talking about how she, can he be with somebody who's still grieving over the ex. First of all, bro, when you want to fuck with me, you know what come with me. You know, it, like, everybody know what come with me. Like, this shit party is never clear. Like, this shit will probably forever. I probably will forever speak on Ryan because guess what? He's gone. It's nothing worse than dealing with somebody you was in a relationship, your first relationship with, real boyfriend you stayed with, who passed away, who not only just passed away, he died on camera. Then his body got uploaded with his body cut open. Then people was on my dick trying to, like, just, like, tarnish me my, and drag me down and i'm already they really everybody was kicking me while i was already down i'm not down no more you feel me i'm very much aware i'm very much not not vulnerable i'm very much on that you see what i'm saying i had to really deal with that shit y'all didn't deal with that shit y'all just seen none of that shit going viral y'all seen the shows y'all seen the motherfucking designer bag y'all seen the burkas and shit Bitch, I was damn near motherfucking. I was putting tissue in the Birkins and putting the tissue out later and crying. Like, my motherfucking eyes was baggy to the point where I couldn't even take pictures for weeks. I slept on a fucking couch for months and didn't even notice I was sleeping on a couch. Like, I have a whole bed. I bought a whole house for my family. You see what I'm saying? Like, couldn't even enjoy it. I had a birthday. I was crying. Who the fuck want to cry on a birthday? 
And it's not from no crying because a nigga cheated on me. This wasn't no breakup cry. This was a motherfucking cry like you're gone and you never coming back. So all you soft ass, pussy ass, lame ass, hoe ass, bitch ass niggas that's on my motherfucking dick, suck it easy. Like, suck it easy. Slow down. Y'all sucking a little too hard on God. Slow the fuck down. And that's just how I feel. You niggas is bitches. Y'all mamas raised bitches on, on Jesus Christ. Vaughn didn't know you niggas, didn't like half of you niggas, and wouldn't even get no fuck about you niggas. And that's on God. So get off that man dick. That man do not give a fuck about none of y'all. Somebody said depression is real. Yeah, that shit real. And I never, bro, I done been down and out. I done had, I done been to the point where I ain't had no money, not a dollar in my pocket. Not a dollar in my fucking pocket. And that shit didn't even make me as half of close as depressed as I was when I lost Vaughn. Like, if speaking on him makes me happy, every time I feel like motherfuckers forget about him, I'm going to talk about him. Every time I feel like motherfuckers is just trying to um, act like he don't exist, I'm going to show y'all as he do exist. So that's just me doing something that make me feel good. It don't have nothing to do with nobody. It don't have nothing to do with no motherfucking fans. It don't have nothing to do with no motherfucking retweets. It don't have nothing to do with shit. What me and that nigga had, go, got, had going on, the whole world seen that shit. And y'all gonna forever see that shit. Ain't no bitch ever been more posted and been with him more than me. I know that. I'm in the blueprint. I ain't, it, you, you can't rewrite history. The shit has already been done. You feel me? So they don't have nothing to do with Jack Boy. They don't have nothing to do with none of y'all niggas. Stop worrying about my nigga. Stop trying to make my nigga give a fuck about what the fuck is going on because he don't care. He don't care. That nigga don't care. And if I want to keep my nigga, I want to keep Vaughn's name alive, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to speak on that shit. When I'm going to fucking get married, I fuck around and say shout out to King Vaughn. Like, what are you talking about? They don't have nothing to do with nothing. So anybody, like, I don't care. I'm not going to say, oh, don't post me none of the blogs. I don't give a fuck. What's up, bitch? What's, I don't give a fuck about y'all. They, they doing their job. They can't post me. But guess what? I'm going to still stand on all ten toes like I've been standing. It's nothing that nobody can say that can hurt me. Because guess what? People said it all. And I overcame that shit. Y'all thought y'all was going to bury me with Vaughn. Y'all thought y'all was going to bury me in Vaughn history with Vaughn. And that didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't go as planned. You feel me? So, yeah, if I want to get married to a nigga, I'm going to get married to a nigga. Because you know why? Life's too short. My nigga, oh, like, you feel me? There's so much shit that me and him could have did and we should have did. But, you know, even though we was taking everything, we, it wasn't even slow. We were just living because I didn't think that. I didn't. He was, to me, he was Superman. To me, he didn't even, Jack Boy don't even show you off. How? What is showing out? Because your nigga don't even show you off. So what is showing out? As a girl, as a female, I'm going to just speak as a female. No matter how gangster y'all think I am and y'all look at me, I'm that. But at the end of the day, I'm still a female. I'm very feminine. I'm, I'm, I'm a girly girl. You feel me? So if I want to post and I want to say girly shit about my nigga, I'm going to say that because I'm a female. He don't got to. I wouldn't even want him to be all, of the, all over the internet talking about me and just don't i'm a, i do that that's my job that's as a girl that's what girls do it's just show y'all between y'all i don't even want to say the word y'all niggas that y'all go with they be dl and they just show you a between another a nigga who a real nigga you feel me he don't care for that we don't care for shit like that as as a female i want to do that i don't even want a nigga to do that he can do i can do that i post about jack boy he don't he don't have to he don't even care about the internet, bro. Like, leave that man alone. Like, leave him alone. Like, because he don't care. Like, nobody's trying to do what's already been done. Like, come on now. Like, don't nobody, like, what this shit it is, it's just, like... That shit is just feel fake. Like, what we got going on, that shit is very much real. And we don't even talk. We don't talk about the internet. I ain't gonna lie. We talk about other shit. It's just so much shit in life. So much dreams. So much things that we can do. You feel me? Like, 
We talk about shit like that, bro. Ain't nobody talking about the internet. That man don't even care, bro. I watch this man for 10 hours straight every day record or play the game. I don't want an outside ass nigga. I don't want a nigga that's in the clubs. I don't want a nigga that's around hoes. I don't want that. So that's why it's him and not you niggas. I don't want that. I like what I like. He like what he's like. I don't want that. I don't want a, like none of that. I don't. He don't have to post me. He don't have to do that. But that nigga sleep with me every time. He's the only nigga that surround this bitch can say like, oh yeah, I'm fucking with Asian. Like, that's a flex right there. He don't have to post me. But, yeah, I just want to let y'all know, like, I don't know why y'all think I'm going to stop talking about Vaughn. I ain't going to never stop. Somebody said, sister, don't post nobody. ain't post about That man post about me. I'm in a whole video. You, that's why you bitches don't have niggas, and that's why you bitches be stupid, because it's not about no motherfucking posting. It's not about that. When me and the niggas first started talking, that nigga posted me on his on his fucking um on his page. Who the f bitch? I'm grown, bitch. We really having millions. Like, don't nobody get no fuck about no motherfucking Instagram. We not YouTubers. This is not YouTube. We not you. We not portraying a relationship. Like that, that shit get posted. That shit get posted. It ain't about that. Don't nobody get no fuck. I fuck around and you want to get posted. Like, don't nobody give a fuck about shit like that, gang. Like, if y'all see me post that shit, it's going to be genuine. Like, damn. I miss, bruh. I miss them. Like, you know, it's some shit like that. Like, don't nobody doing no motherfucking shit just to impress nobody. Don't nobody give a fuck about Instagram. Y'all do. Y'all watching. Motherfuckers ain't no motherfucking... It's not a joke. It's not a game. This is not who can look with the rawest. This is not none of that, bro. Don't nobody care. Like, social media is fake as fuck. And the, when y'all wake up and realize that shit, the relationships y'all glorify, these hoes be getting cheated on behind closed doors. But you want to know what you can do? You can post a picture and make that shit look so good. That's why y'all stupid. Y'all glorify relationships just because it's posted. Because the pictures is posted. But behind closed doors, hoes be getting cheated on. Slutted the fuck out. Niggas be dogging their ass. Be fucking all type of hoes. Like, it's be a point where a nigga go fuck a hoe, feel so bad, and go post this bitch just because he feel bad because he just fucked another bitch. Like, wake up. Use y'all fucking heads. That's why I'm saying, y'all, y'all really ain't even on shit. Like, y'all really not even knowing, like, really what go on behind social media, especially with rappers. With rappers, that's why I'm a rapper. I know this. Come on, like, what the fuck? Nigga gotta go fuck a bitch and post his bitch just because he feel bad. That's why when niggas don't be wanting you to have friends and be around other lit bitches is because they fucking with them. And they don't want you to be around them to find out who they fucking. That's exactly what the fuck it is. Jack boy don't be around nobody. He don't give a fuck about nobody. Like, and I'm not even just seeing, like... I'm not even riding his dude. I'm not even riding his dick, but it's just like what I've seen and what I've heard is just none of that, bro. So I like what the fuck I like. I done had a I done had the the most handsomest boyfriend. Vaughn was Vaughn looked it better than every rapper. I had that. And look what I dealt with. Come on now. Use your head, bitch. I'm not going back down that road. And I'm not I'm not I'm not dealing with nobody. Who I just feel like it's finna just like crash out and pass away. Like that's stupid. I'm gonna go get the next lit cute rapper who's in beef and who's just like, nah, we ain't doing that. But that's just me. This you see how I'm on this bitch talking about my life. Like, worry about child life. Like me, I'm okay. But what I am gonna just say, like, bro. Oh, I busy. I love busy. I love busy to death. Like niggas like busy. I fucking love busy. Busy. It's definitely, like, one of my close friends. Like, I fuck with Busy Heavy. And I have a good relationship with, with a lot of niggas to port tours. Like, them niggas, I call niggas my brothers. Like, niggas gang. Just how niggas can be friends with other niggas, I can be friends with other niggas. Like, I feel like I have a definitely... But y'all know back then, like, y'all know y'all never seen me with females. So, that mean, like, when y'all see me in drama, it was with another rap hoe and I whooped the bitch. But it's just, like, I feel like... 
when I started hanging around girls, especially regular bitches who ain't even on my level, I feel like I started getting into a lot of drama because I be on artist mode, but I still enjoy company of, of bitches. Like, you know, bitches is fun. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and keep checking the channel for more fire and more heat.